Howdy, y'all. Since I'm already forgetting all this, I might as well try and try and do this anyway. It's going to be a very strange video because I got into my crawler to talk about spirituality. Of course, I have a song for that, too, because, you know, the Almond Brothers, they got this thing called, called Soul Shine. And when, the light, when, when you can't find the light, get you through the blue day. When the stars are shining bright, you feel like you've lost your way. When those candlelights at home burn so very far away Well, you gotta let your soul shine Just like my daddy used to say Let your soul shine Better than sunshine Better than a moonshine Damn sure better than a rain Let your soul shine Your eyes here are people on mine we all get this way sometime. You gotta let your soul shine you break a day. Anyways, so I don't know why, but uh, in the past couple of days, uh, the the whole thing of the spirituality and stuff has come up, and and I figured I uh, well I said I wasn't gonna talk about it, but then I figured I'd talk about it a little bit, just because mine is completely different because well I'm me. Um, I, I, I was raised Catholic and well, I'm a recovering Catholic now. Um, that'll tell that should tell you something. Um, I don't have to find Jesus. I know where he is. Um, yeah, it's a joke, but it's still, um, I, I come to find out that, that religion has done wrong for pretty much everything. So I don't like religion at all. And the things that religion have taught us have all been pretty bass backwards, like um, like Jesus. Like uh, personally, I love Jesus just because he was a punk. He was a punk who just wanted chaos and anarchy, and that is true. That is extremely true. He didn't want a religion, never wanted a religion in his name, but thought religions themselves were just bad news. That's why he was here to tell us to stop doing that. That God is in all of us anyway. Why are we going to these weirdo people to listen to them preach about things that they don't know? You know, so Jesus was here to tell us to stop with the religion, to stop going to church. He didn't want churches. He was the one who, oh, I love Jesus, up in that, <laughs> tell them, those, the, the money people in the, in the temple, get out. You know, you people do not belong here. Get out. So, you know, I love Jesus. Jesus was a punk, man, but he was only one. Only one of the, there's, like I said, man, a long time ago, I feel like there's a whole army of angels. One just patted me on the back because, you know what? They're getting recognized now, too, because there are a whole army of angels out of there. And Yeah, of course, I talked to Jesus, and, but I also talked to a whole bunch of other angels, too, man, because they're here to help us. And not going to deny that and I'm not going to not going to say no but I also don't ascribe to any religion I also don't ascribe to any one thing I also don't ascribe to pretty much anything except moral values why do you guys think I like Leonard Skinner so much because of the moral values that were in there just listen to simple man man start there and for me simple man and, and Stay off drugs, you know, the needle and the spoon, you know, um, go up to, to some of the last stuff he wrote, you know, whiskey bottles and brand new cars, oh, tree, you're in my way. Um, Ronnie Van Zant wrote that about Gary Rossington. I saw the newspaper clipping from there and it was basically, it was exactly the same thing that Ronnie Van Zant said, you know, and, and how Rossington gets up there and plays that every day, I don't know. And how his spirituality has carried him through. Wow, he must have a lot, man, because he's still here, still going, still the last rebel, you know. Um, but uh, that's why I love Skinner, because they're just pure and simple. And, and, and you know, the, that, the, the Ronnie Van Zandt Skinner, because I think since then they've become something that uh, is a little bit beyond what Ronnie wanted. Um, and... Uh, I don't know. I, I think things would be different if he was still here, and I think the world would be a different place if he was still here. And that's
that's just one band that I listen to, man. But uh, for me, I've always said that I pray to the great, great God, Leonard Skinner. It's Sunday, man. Of course, I'm going to pray to Leonard Skinner because I love music. And I music has gotten me through everything. So I might joke about it, but my spirituality comes from music, man. Seriously, it comes from the music that I listen to. It comes from there are people with wise words out there. It comes from listening to people just... You don't expect to have these words of wisdom and then they're there. I do pray to great God, Leonard Skinner, because it's the music. Like, like Gary Rossian had said, man, we, we didn't have no gimmick. Our music was our gimmick. And there, they, 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 it wasn't even a, it, no gimmick, man. It's, it's uh, some, some, some guys that got together and wrote music. And they wrote music about what they knew. And what they knew was down home. And to me, the morals and the values that, not the religion, religion kiss my ass. Um, but the morals and the values that you learn from those teachings, that's what you need. Not what they keep preaching in this stupid church because they want their money. They want their money and their big cars and you keep giving them to them. So, you know, you want to do that, that's cool. And if... If you're not one of them people that does that, I applaud you because I just think that, you know, giving money to these people is silly. Um, they get all this stuff and we're left over there going, I don't know how to get from paycheck to paycheck. You know, so I think there's something in the world there, wrong in the world there. And it um, goes back to religion and money. All back to religion and money. Always religion and money. Religion, they want the power, and with the power, can get the money, you know, because that's what people consider power. So, look for the two of them, and you can find the evil. And I'm trying to get away from that. So, my spirituality is leading me to different paths. And, yeah, Jesus is definitely in there, man. He's one of the best ones up there. But why can't Muhammad be, too, you know? Well, what's the matter with listening to what Muhammad's got to say? I don't understand why people go crazy, because people... Yeah, I, I took the Quran out of the library at one time. I was amazed at how much Jesus and home. Wow, how much Mary, Mary, whoa. They revere Mary whew, big time. So I don't understand the breaks between all the religions because I went out to seek, you know, other religions and all I found was similarities between all of them. And um, those are the ones that I keep. So, um, I'm good, man. Thank you very much for everything. And and uh, it's not like I can teach anybody because I'm still learning. But um, I really think that uh, religion is part of the problem on the planet today. And I might lose viewers or subscribers or whatever for this. But um, those, are, those are my views. I think we need to break out of all that and that we need to, to love each other, not go to some religion and look to somebody who just wants to make money. Because that's what they pretty much all want to do. I'm a total evangelist. I need money. I need to have a jet to get to you. Do you really? Well, I need to eat next week. But I don't see anybody banging down doors to give me money, you know. So I, I just don't get it. That's what I don't get. And I'm learning. And I'm trying. And, uh, well, I think I've babbled on long enough. I can't even see the counter. But it looks like it's still going. Scared of technology. So I'm going to end it there and say, yeah, man, it is Sunday. And I will say again, always look up. He's there for you. Take for, for that what you, you get and because I've been getting told the same thing. It's whatever is resonates with me, whatever my journey takes me on, wherever I feel like it is because I keep asking questions that spiritual people cannot answer. So I'm just going to keep looking up and I'm going to keep praying to God. And, you know, in the Catholic Church, it's the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. The Son is Jesus. So, you know, why wouldn't I go straight to the source, um, to God? And why would I go? Why would I bother Jesus with this stuff, you know? Why don't I go straight to God? But I'm learning that Jesus is definitely someone I need to talk to. So I've been trying that. And thank you, everyone. Always look up. He's there for you. Peace.